Hey, what's up everyone? And Naughty Llama here, and I've got some MLB The Show. I think this is part 13 of my little franchise series here, so uh, game 2 is kind of boring. I just have the stats, or the highlights in here, because I, uh, I put game 2, 3, and 4 in here, because I haven't made a video in a couple days, and I thought it was easier to uh, condense the uh, videos. So they're a little shorter on the uh, gameplay here, but I can fit more uh, more games into one video, which is kind of nice, because it was going to take me forever to put out all these videos for uh, for the playoffs. So um, yeah, here's game 2. I am... Uh, let me see what the stats are here. They're here. Uh, since he's up 2-1 there, you can see Hannigan gets a uh, RBI in the bottom of the 7. So that breaks the 1-1 tie here. But, um, yeah, and then uh, Carroll will line out to, uh, line out to first there. So they're not in the 7th, but they take the 2-1 lead here. I forget, I wanted to talk about something, and I totally forgot. But um, let me see what this gameplay is. Here, here, here in the uh, bottom of the 8th, Phillips will hit a uh, single... Uh, Single shot there to left, so they will take the lead. And I think I actually lose this game, which kind of sucks. But um, I took game one, so I think as long as I can get a split in uh, the first two games, it's kind of nice because uh, I've got uh, games three, four, and five at home, which is pretty good. So as long as I can take two games at home, I think it'd be on the uh, right pace here because then I would go to Cincinnati and I would only have to win one of the two games there. So here we'll go to game three. I've got the 5-3 uh, lead in the uh, top of the eighth, but they get a runner on with no outs here, and I've got... Uh, Mark Malonkin is my pitcher, so the first pitch there, I get him to uh, look at that strike with the uh, fastball there. Second pitch, uh, he'll foul that off, so he's in an 0-2 count. So uh, whenever they're in an 0-2 count, I just like to throw things like really uh, really low and away, try to get him to chase at one. And that one will get him looking. That was a lucky pitch there. It could have been considered a ball, but it'll get him. So they got Brandon Phillips up, who's uh, been pretty good for him so far. I think it said he had two hits in this game. And there, he uh, he just goes. He tried to check swing, but they, uh, they say he went there, so... Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one count now as he uh, takes that ball. So the next pitch is a uh, ball, which looked like it was inside, but they'll give me a ball, which uh, the umping in this game is kind of annoying. I should probably turn off the uh, random thing. So there he's in a 3-1 count, so I want to try to put something inside. I put a uh, two-seam fastball there, and he'll ground out to first. So uh, I'll get the uh, like n nice little uh, double play there. Apparently I can't talk, so uh, the double play there. So we'll go to uh, go to the bottom of the ninth here. They get Joey Votto up, who is hitting... Uh, 345, which is pretty good in the playoffs, and then he hit like 350 or something in the uh, regular season. So he's been uh, he's been really good for Cincy this year. So uh, first pitch is a uh, two seam fastball that's just outside, and I've got uh, got my closer Hanrahan in, who has been uh, pretty solid for me all season. I, like I said, I simulated most of the season, but um, he had 60 saves, and I think his ERA was like a two something. It was pretty low. Um, so um, there was that, and then I think he's got like three or four saves in the playoffs for me, and he, I have yet to give up a run with him. So he's been uh, been pretty solid there. You can see uh, get a ball that's just outside on Bruce here. So I got a full count, and I will get him to uh, strike out on a fastball. So there's the second out. So um, just, they got, they're done with their last out here. They got Scott rolling up. So I lead off with a uh, slider there, and he'll take that, which uh, probably should have threw that a little lower because that was kind of in the middle. He could have probably crushed that. Next pitch, he'll... Uh, He'll foul that off, so I get him in an 0-2 count. So just gonna try to get him to chase something here, and I throw a uh, throw a low changeup, and he'll strike out. And he wasn't expecting the changeup there, so I'll win uh, win game three. So I take a 2-1 series lead here, as you can see. And then here's the uh, here's the stats for this game. So uh, if anyone wanted to see me scoring and stuff, which um I don't know, a lot of my runs and stuff in this game, it comes when I simulate batting because I usually only bat with the top half of my lineup. So uh, if I get a lot of runs in one uh, one inning, it's usually from uh, just simulating it, and I get lucky, um, my team will somehow score a bunch of runs, so there's that, but um, yeah, I think I, I simulated, I don't think I actually get any of the runs in this game, as you can see, because the stats only show uh, what I hit, so it doesn't show you what the uh, computer does, so I guess all my runs, or four of my runs at least, came from um, simulating, but there you can see it was the uh, top of the seventh, and Andrew Jones for the Reds hit a two-run homer, so that kind of closed my lead a little bit, narrowed it up to a two-run lead, so... I just tried to hold him off, and I uh, I did here. So um, yeah, I think baseball starts up like the regular season in uh less than a week. I think I want to say like Tuesday or Wednesday is the opening day, and there's a bunch of good uh, series. I think uh, Cardinals Marlins is gonna be on ESPN in a couple days. Then I think the Angels are playing someone else. I forget who they're playing. They're playing a good team though, which would be interesting to see what Albert Pujols does for them because he's uh he's been killing in spring training so far. And then uh, Detroit Boston will be a good series too. I think that's an opening uh opening uh day series so uh pirates are playing the phillies too which would be a nice series so uh here we'll go to game four uh top of the eighth i got a 3-2 lead i got uh meek on as my pitcher who's my setup man and phillips lays down a bunt and that was a pretty uh, well placed bunt i can't get into it in time my catcher uh wasn't fast enough and there my pitcher doesn't beat the throw so they got a runner on first the joey Valdo up and uh 
He swings and misses at the first pitch. It was a cut fastball, so let me see. Uh, I guess he'll strike out there. I wasn't looking at the count. So, uh, yeah, he'll strike out on a uh, fastball. So they got Bruce up, who's hit a homer already. And uh, he'll, uh, he'll take strike one looking. So uh, got him in an 0-1 count here. Throw a fastball low, and he'll miss at that. So uh, got him in an 0-2 count here. So just want to try to get him to chase after something. And um, that pitch is just outside. Or actually, it's uh, pretty far outside. So it's a 1-2 count now. And the next pitch, he'll foul it off. So he stays alive here. So still in a 1-2 count. So, um... Yeah, let me see what... I think he kills one of them here. I'm not sure. Now, he'll foul that one off again. So, I'm um, not sure I get this guy's entire plate appearance up because it's kind of long here. So, uh, yeah, like I said, I would be happy to take this game because then I would have the 3-1 uh, series lead going in the game six, which would be nice. So, he's kind of clinging to this one-run lead here. And he just fouls another one off. So, he's got a... Uh, he doesn't want to go down here because I'm throwing a lot on the corners. And there, I will try to... Uh, Try to pick up the fr pick off the runner at first, but uh, he's safe there. I thought he was gonna go because he's uh got a lot of speed and stuff, and he was taking a big lead off there. So the next pitch, uh, I'll strike Bruce out looking. So there is the uh, that's or I think it's the second or first out. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, there was a second out. So they got uh Stubbs up with two outs and a runner on first here. Uh, first pitch I will throw outside. And then I'll come in for a strike I guess. So it's a uh, 0 1. The next pitch will be um yeah it's a two run homer. So that kind of sucks. And I. Knew someone hit it. I thought it was the last guy, not this guy. So uh, they get a two-run homer in the eighth inning there. So they will take the 4-3 lead, which uh, kind of sucks because they had the lead most of the game. And then I'll get the next batter to uh, to pop out to right here. But I only have two innings to try to get a run here, which kind of sucks. Cause I think I have the bottom of my lineup up. Let me see. Uh, let me see who's up here. I've got. I don't know who this hitter is. I think it's a pinch hitter I brought in. Yeah, and he'll strike out with. Uh, Viz Cow, I think is my backup shortstop. So there's the first out. Um, I got my leadoff man Presley up now, who is 0 for 3. Uh, he's still hitting pretty good in the postseason. He's hitting 316, which uh, is pretty good. He's got no power though. He's just kind of a contact batter. And I will ground out to uh, to first with him. So there's the second out of the eighth inning. Um, let me see. Uh, you got Garrett Jones up next. He's been pretty good for me, but I think I got a Ronaldo Chapman or whatever the guy's first name is. Uh, and Aldis Chapman, I, I don't know how to pronounce his first name, but this dude's a pretty good pitcher. He can throw like 100 miles an hour. So, uh, postseason puzzle, Matt, and he was terrific in this one. So that'll just about wrap things up tonight. For Dave Campbell and Eric Karros, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 12 The Show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Reds win this one 4-3. to three. A full recap of the night's action is next. Now for all of us at the show. Good night, everybody.